I made a thing who will detect language. Uh, so if I play time, it says EN because that's the language I'm using. Um, and uh, it's it's difficult to prove because I, it's not easy to change the language of your PS4. So I'll just, uh, if you have a different language uh, PS4, feel free to uh, test it out. Um, Okay, so how does this work? Well, uh, so I'll just quickly demonstrate it coming up with a different language. So I'll change that to something else and I'll change this to EN. So that was originally PT. So I'll change this to EN and then it should say that PT code and I play time like that. Cool, so this is, um, that's just a sine wave that I just generated on my computer. Um, and then I use a little slice of it like that. Oops. Um, and the cool thing with, with uh, the audio stuff is that you can tell it which language it is. So first you need to set in the settings, the, that is, it is multi-language. Um, and then you can you get this thing. So if multi language isn't on, you won't see that. You'll see the spiciness rating. So turn that on, and now you can set it by just dragging up and down through the things. And dash means it it always works, maybe something like that. But now uh, that one will play um, if the uh, PS4 is in. Uh, Japanese language and that one will play if it's in English language. Uh, I can use up and down on this to actually make them louder and quieter. If I just make that more obvious, I'll make this one really loud. This one really quiet. So the English one is now really quiet. But then if I change these round, it will play this one instead and be louder. Like that. So then we're using that feature to uh, figure out which one of these slices played. So um, if I put this on a chip first. Cool, so now if I uh, output that using a number displayer, um, uh, and uh, it has this envelope input output from the uh, sound. They changed it for the launch uh, so that now it uses uh, the volume of the actual slice being played when it's different languages. So we can use that in our logic. So we're displaying the envelope, which is the volume that is being played. So if we... Uh, yeah, we'll just make that last really long. So it's around 1.2, whereas this other one, make that one longer as well. Uh, if we make that one English, change that one, then it'll be quieter and have a lower number, 2.5 or 0.25. So the easiest way of using this is to have two of them and only one of them will actually have any volume. So um, uh, if I just show you how to do one language, so let's just use the English one and scale that up. Um, the thing is, even if this is a different language and you play it, it still plays it, uh, even though I have an English language uh, PS4. This is because um, it knows that nothing else can play in here, but you probably want something to play. So then um, to fix that, I just copy it and move that down to the dash. And then I can scale this way down like that. So that has no volume. And now it will play the dash uh, as a backup instead of the um, language one. So now that's sending zero. Uh, like that. Um, so we can say, use a selector. This is like the simplest way of using it. So if a signal comes out of here, then it has volume. And we know that it's the French language. So then we can add... Um, a 
example for French. So um, that selector, a selector has many channels and when you send a signal into one of them that becomes the active channel and only that one will send a signal out. So if that sends a signal because it's French, the PS4 is French, then that'll, that'll set it to B and then that will become active. So what we can do is use a calculator to make sure it's just less than a small number. Oh, we want it more than, yeah, that's better. So more than a tiny number. So it's not happening because the uh, that dash one is very quiet. Now we can make a copy of that and put this one into C and have this one be for the English, like that. And then in here, just change that to English. Now when we play, it selected that second one, which is, uh, so then you can use that to um, show different text, translated text for different language people and things like that. Um, uh, now, you probably don't want that tone to be playing though, so to fix that we can just add a sound gadget, which is a speaker, and if you put a speaker in the chip of other audio stuff, by default it will just um, nab all that audio and, and play it through this speaker. Uh, so we'll turn that off, and we can just turn the volume down, so this still has volume and, and is still sending out stuff but then the speaker mutes it for the actual player's speakers. So now we can get the uh, information about that one's being played um, without having to play it over the speakers. If none of these fire, so if let's say you only have French and, we'll just go for Ita uh, uh, Italian, not Italian, Italian. Um, so if neither of those play, then that will still be on by default. So you can use that to power whatever uh, but you can also say um, if it's Italian or it's uh, Spanish then that one will play and then you can do stuff for just those so uh, that's probably not a great example but if you had English and um, English US uh, that would make sense for example so um, if you had this that's Let's find some French text. Um, new. Something like that. Uh, so you can have that. And then you can have that one. Say welcome. So that just says welcome every time. If they're French, they would see a translated version of the same text. I'd like to thank Mobius DT, Jason AC, Evil Kimao, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Check out tapjars.com to find out how you can support me in helping Dreams creators. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.